What's up guys, it's X-Rays and welcome to a new episode of Gun Comparison. Today we're going to be comparing the AN-94 Assault Rifle versus the M27 Assault Rifle. Both of these assault rifles, I already did a dissection with a full breakdown of all these stats uh, that you guys could ever want. So all of you Call of Duty nerds who like looking at all these stats just like me, you guys can stop over there. I'm going to have links down in the description to each episode of the gun dissection. So if you guys want to see that before I start into this gun comparison, go ahead and feel free to do that. Uh, links will be down in the description below. Anyways, to jump straight into this, I want to keep these nice, short, and quick, and precise. I have uh, some stats here for both of these. I'm not going to go too deep. Deep into this I just want to go over some of the predominant more important things that you need to know about each gun and uh, why one is better than the other so before I start leave a comment down below do you guys think the M27 is better or the AN94 you know apart from all the stats how you know the way that you guys play do you guys enjoy one more than the other leave it down in the comment section down below and now let's jump straight into the stats guys so starting off with the recoil of both of these guns the AN94 has low to medium recoil while the M27 has low recoil the M27 is uh, actually one of those guns that has such low recoil that you technically don't even have to have that as much of a good aim in order to use it. So definitely uh, the the uh, M27 wins in that round, it uh, wins in the recoil category. Jumping into the next category, shots to kill. This one was actually a little funny for the M27. If you guys want to know why uh, the stats are a little different, you guys can stop by the dissection of the M27 to understand why. The AN94 has three to five shots to kill, while the M27 has four to five shots to kill. So just the fact that the AN94 has a possibility of killing someone in three shots without going for headshots makes it the winner of the shots to kill category. Jumping into the next one, again another little bit of a differentiate between the two. The AN94 has a 600 rounds per minute uh, normal rate of fire while the M27 has a 720 rounds per minute. The only thing that's a little different about the AN94 is that the first two bullets that come out of the gun shoot at a faster round per minute which is actually 900 rounds per minute which means that if you burst fire the AN94 you actually get a higher RPM than you would with the M27. So I'm just going to call this one a draw between the two. Moving on to the next category, damage. The AN94 does more damage than the M27. It actually does 40 to 24 damage as a pretty steep drop, but again, it's still more damage than the M27. The M27 does 33 to 22 damage, so it's uh, its minimum damage is, is, is pretty close to the AN94, but still the AN94 wins in damage, so the AN94 is the winner of the damage category. Moving on to the next round, the reload time of the AN94 is 2.39 seconds while the reload time of the M27 is 1.95 seconds so the M27 reloads a little bit faster about a half second faster than the AN94 so it does win in the uh, lightweight sort of uh, quick reload time and moving on to the last thing both of these guys were tied so I had to make one more kind of category to break the two and the last category will be time to kill or TTK for some of you guys the AN94 has a 0.18 to 0.38 second time to kill while the M27 has a 0.26 to 0.39 second time to kill which uh, basically means that the AN94 has a faster time to kill and pretty much decides the the whole matchup right here the AN94 is a better assault rifle than the M27 according to the stats again you know for you guys that are more into the actual uh, way that the guns feel you guys can feel different but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of uh, Gun Comparison. If you did, leave a like and a favorite and suggest two guns down below that you guys want me to dissect and then compare with each other. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. A like and a favorite is appreciated. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new episode of Interactive How to Be a Noob. I'm Max I'm out. Peace.